But the good news is more people are taking preventive measures. The bad news is that everything from test sites to stores are struggling to keep up. Lines are long once again to get a COVID test. The activity Tuesday non-stop at the city-run site at a church in West Baltimore. People began showing up before 10 a.m. Many complaining test sites are hard to find and the hours are not convenient. It took us two days just to find someone, just uh, to be able to do it. That it is hard for um, to get tested, it is. The pricey rapid test kits are a hot seller in stores. The 11 News I team look for home testing kits in several stores at various locations, including Rite Aid, CVS and Walgreens. Most were sold out. Store managers saying they don't know when they'll get them again. Medical experts say testing is critical to managing the pandemic. COVID tests are incredibly important right now where we are with the pandemic and especially the rise of the Omicron variant. Tests are a key tool to help us understand who is infected and even maybe more importantly, who is currently infectious. People we spoke to today said the Omicron variant, the upcoming holidays, or why they're getting tested. Azari Frazier is getting tested because her mom has COVID. Because we want to make sure that we don't have COVID and we want to make sure everyone stays safe. Others say it's the right thing to do. It's important to get tested so you don't infect others and keep spreading the disease. Perhaps the best example of people's desire to get tested played out in Baltimore County Saturday. That's where the health department handed out 2,000 test kits to 19 library branches. The giveaway began at 9 a.m. And we had people that were in at 9:12, and the Cockeysville branch, the Catonsville branch, the Pikesville branch, gone. The Baltimore County Library System is holding another free test giveaway this Thursday. Health officials say another consequence of increased demand is that labs are struggling to keep up. You can find a list of free COVID test sites on our website at WBALTV.com. Reporting live from the uh, Baltimore County Health Department, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.